Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Kim Zolchak and Croy Biermann's lavish Atlanta residence are facing the threat of foreclosure once more. As per court documents obtained by People, lawyers representing their bank lender, Truist, have issued a foreclosure warning to the former couple. They have until May 3 to return to court and contest the situation. If no action is taken by this date, the lenders will commence a non-judicial foreclosure process to regain ownership of the Milton Mansion. It's important to note that immediate eviction from the property may not necessarily occur if they do not intervene by the specified deadline. The exes currently have the 15,000-square-foot mansion up for sale, but have been struggling to find a buyer for the property. In January, the pair, who are also in the midst of a messy divorce, slashed the sale price by $1 million. They originally listed the home for $6 million in October 2023, but reduced the asking price by $500,000 a few months later due to lack of interest. The most recent chop came just one week after the bank threatened to foreclose the property because they had defaulted on their mortgage. At the time, Truist said in court documents that it intends to exercise its rights to seize the home unless Solchak and Biermann's debt was paid in full via the sale of the home. The sprawling seven-bedroom, 11-bathroom residents faced foreclosure previously in 2014, and again in February 2023. However, on both occasions, the former couple managed to resolve the issue. Despite their success in the past, the duo has encountered financial challenges in recent months, exacerbated by their divorce. In an attempt to alleviate their financial strain, the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum sold her skincare brand and listed numerous high-value designer items for sale online. Despite these efforts, their debt has continued to accumulate. Last month, a judge mandated that Zolchak and her daughter Brielle Biermann surrender the keys to their 2019 Land Range Rover for repossession. The turnover order was filed just three months after Ally Bank, which was the lender for the Land Rover, claimed the pair owed them over $80,000. On top of that, Zolchak and her estranged husband reportedly owe the IRS more than $1 million in taxes, more than $230,000 in a bank lawsuit filed last fall, and more than $150,000 in unpaid credit card fees. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel to get update news.